I've never been a fan of the old Batman. I mean, the really old one. The one that was bright, not serious, and a bit strange. I've always thought that Batman should be a really serious movie, despite him being sort of a superhero and wearing a really strange costume. He's just a man who has the drive and the resources to fight crime, and this idea is quite appealing. It is easy to explain why a superhero beats everybody. He's got superpowers, and others don't. But when all you've got is some technology, then winning a fight is all about strategy rather than blunt force. Thankfully, Christopher Nolan decided to embark on this mission and create a serious movie about Batman. Many people really love the Batman that Nolan produced, and still to this day, The Dark Knight is considered the best Batman there is. But I think many people would agree that this Batman is the best not because of its script, not because it is shot beautifully, not because Nolan is a great director. In my opinion, this movie is so great because of this one particular character. I thought my jokes were bad. The Joker. Heath Ledger put his soul into this character, and all Nolan had to do is to not interfere and let the camera roll while this acting masterpiece was being born. So, why am I talking about Nolan in this review? I just wanted to emphasize that characters really matter in any movie. You know, there are movies that will remain in the memory forever as if they leave a scar inside of a brain. These movies will make you contemplate life and its aspects for the days to come, and could even alter the way you look at things. Those movies are really rare and require a number of factors to fall into place. Then there are movies that will be forgotten given a certain amount of time. It could be weeks, months or years, but it will eventually happen. And there is a third category. Those movies will be forgotten the moment you walk out of the cinema theater. Unfortunately, almost all of today's movies fall into this category. And sadly, the new Batman is no exception. There is one thing that I was really surprised about, and this thing changes the way I look at making movies nowadays. The day I started learning filmmaking, I was prioritizing the looks above else. I find joy in trying to make a certain scene look better, and that's what I was looking for in other movies. But here is the thing. Up to this day, there are three movies that I can think of that really stand out visually. Those movies are Blade Runner, Dune, and now this new Batman. But despite me really loving this visual part of movies, I was able to finish only one of those movies. And I did that only because the script was an almost complete replica of an older, much better movie. The movie I was able to finish was The Batman. Being so interested in cinematography, I cannot skip this part, so let's discuss the cinematography of the new Batman. Simply put, it is outstanding. The composition, the lighting, the color grading, everything is perfect. They even requested Ari to manufacture special lenses for this movie that would be sharp at the center, but introduce a rapid fall off towards the outer parts of the frame. And although it looks so cool, they still used pretty simple lighting techniques. It really teaches you that you don't really need a ton of lights to create a beautiful cinematic scene. Cinematography is probably the only plus of this movie that I can think of. But what is really strange, I do not find anything irritating or really bad about this movie either. And this is simultaneously a good thing and a bad one. I was talking before about actors in movies just to lead up to this moment. Characters in this movie are really blunt. I didn't feel their emotions. I didn't care what their goal was. They felt really empty, despite the fact that they got enough screen time and despite the fact that this movie lasts almost three hours. As for the plot, it is almost a complete replica of the movie 7, with a minor difference. At the end of 7, there was a really tense, climactic moment that would turn everything upside down inside of you. And at the end of Batman, there is only a boring fight scene and some pretentious WTF moments. So, what is the verdict? The same old recipe as always. Stunning visuals and empty movie. Not the type of recipe I would prefer, but it seems it is the only one that modern big-budget films will follow. Thank you for watching and goodbye.